Uh, one of the things I'm particularly proud to be reading about every day is the Occupy Wall Street movement in America. When I saw the uh, Egyptians stand until the corrupt government fell, and probably was replaced by just as corrupt a government, uh, but the one guy who was the figurehead of corruption was forced out. I found it fascinating that all they did was stand there. They didn't do anything, and I thought, wow, somebody has to do this in America. You know, somebody has to stand up for what used to be America, the freedom of speech, the freedom that we had. I mean, now you can't even say shit. There's so many things that you can't say because we're so politically correct and we're so narrow-minded and people have their funny views and they think that those views reflect America, but America was founded on certain principles of freedom and the pursuit of happiness, oddly enough, which seems to be harder and harder to combine. But to read about these people who are doing this one thing, nothing, standing around looking and saying, what you're doing isn't right because everybody knows it's not right except the people who are doing it. The 1% who are stealing money and stealing money and stealing money as if it's a relevant thing. What's relevant is your own happiness and it's tough to be happy without a lot of, without, happy without money and it's really, really difficult to go to higher states of awareness if you're kept where your physiological needs are not being met. But there's enough wealth on the planet for everybody to eat, for everybody to live in peace, for everybody to be happy. But there are a few greedy souls that seem to think that it's their right to steal as much money as they can. And stealing is what they're doing. If you're an American and you don't get that, look and see the wars that have been started illegally and immorally going to certain individuals who sell weapons so that they can kill more innocent babies on the planet is part of it. But I digress. Like I said, one of the things... Uh, that when I go back to America, and I'm going to see if I can find an Occupy movement. I'm going to go set up my table. I'm going to adjust people. And I'm going to have them sign a little piece of paper or not and say, you can't sue me because I'm doing this to assist you. And I'm going to make them as comfortable as I can to see if there's anything that I can do to help these people or to assist these people in their movement. What they're doing is magnificent. They don't know what to do. They're at their wit's end. The government, the completely corrupt government in America, which, whether we vote or not, doesn't seem to matter because this puppet says this and that puppet says that as they steal all the money that they can, but all they're doing is doing nothing. They're saying, wait a minute, we don't know what to do, so let's just stop. Let's just sit, let's just be here, and let every day, let them look outside and know that we're here and that what they're doing is not right, not fair, not legal, but we can't fight them in courts because the courts are as corrupt as everything else. But I'm just really, really proud. I didn't think it would happen in my lifetime that these amount of people would get organized. Uh, obviously, I'm an old hippie, and the hippies led to peace in Vietnam, not lasting peace because of the powers that be that are greedy and want to kill babies. But they're still in power, but these sorts of movements are necessary uh, and a really, really refreshing thing to watch and see from this 58-year-old heart. Love you guys. Have fun. Good luck www.micpeakperformance.com